nine strange discoveries from ancient Egypt. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. Number nine, 12 miles south of Cairo, a pyramid was discovered that was estimated to be 4,300 years old. It was located in Saqqara, a sprawling burial site and necropolis of the rulers of ancient Memphis. Experts thought the structure might have belonged to Queen Seheshet, the mother of King Tidi, who founded the sixth dynasty of Egypt's old kingdom. Archaeologists still had to explore the burial chamber and study inscriptions before they could know for sure they said it was common to find statues or tombs in the area, but to find a pyramid? That was strange indeed. It was the 118th pyramid discovered in Egypt. Number 8. The wooden remains of a boat some 4,500 years old were discovered south of Cairo near the Abusir Pyramids. Archaeologists believe it was a funerary boat that likely belonged to a prominent member of society. Members of the research team were cleaning an ancient tomb when they found the 59-foot boat lying on a bed of stones and covered in sand. Such boats were usually reserved for the royal family and used in their funeral rites. The owner of this boat is still unidentified, but he probably wasn't a member of the royal family, according to experts. But more likely, the owner was considered elite and had strong ties to the reigning pharaoh. Number 7. Hands off! The first physical evidence of a gruesome practice ancient warriors used some 3,600 years ago was discovered in the ancient city of Avaris in Egypt. Archaeologists dug up four pits that contained 16 large male right hands. The hands were thought to have been chopped off the arms of defeated enemies. After vanquishing an enemy, the victorious fighter would slice off his opponent's right hand as a way of removing his physical strength. The cut-off hands would be presented in exchange for gold. Two of the hands were found separately in two pits located in what is thought to be a throne room. The remaining 14 hands were discovered in an outer section of the palace in two other pits, believed to have been built at a later time. It's not known if the hands belonged to Egyptians or enemies they fought in the region. Number 6. A discovery made in 2011 confirmed that heart disease isn't a health problem reserved for modern society. An Egyptian princess was found to have clogged arteries, and she lived over 3,500 years ago. Researchers used computer scans to examine 52 mummies in Egypt and the U.S. Among the mummies that still possessed heart tissue, 44 had chunks of calcium clogging their arteries. Estimated to be in her 40s at the time, the princess lived in present-day Luxor between 1540 and 1550 BC, and she's the oldest mummy found to date with heart disease. Varying stages of heart disease and artery problems were evident in 43 younger mummies. Experts think the disease could be partly related to the high amount of fat in the diet of the pharaohs and other Egyptian royalty. Number 5. The ancient Egyptians were famous for mummifying the dead, yes we all know that, but some evidence surfaced in 2014 that suggests they were practicing that art some 1500 years earlier than previously believed, meaning mummification was practiced around 6500 years ago. Traditional theories regarding ancient Egyptian mummification stated that the action of the hot arid desert sands caused the bodies to dry naturally in the time period between 4500 and 3100 BC. But when researchers tested shrouds used to wrap bodies found at Mosta Jeddah and Baradi, prehistoric burial grounds in the Nile Valley, they discovered traces of embalming agents that included a pine resin, animal fats, plant extracts, and natural petroleum, ingredients found in a similar recipe used for the mummification of pharaohs some 3,000 years later. Interestingly, the textile sample was originally collected in the 1930s and is held in England's Bolton Museum. Number 4. Pyramid Paradoxes Exactly how the pyramids were built is a mystery that has stood the test of time. Now, researchers are hoping to solve that pyramid paradox with the help of Cosmic Rise. Earlier in 2016, an archaeological research project called Scan Pyramids was launched. The project uses 3D scans, infrared thermography, and cosmic ray detectors to examine four famed pyramids, including the Great 
Pyramid of Giza, the tallest of the monuments. Researchers from Egypt, France, Canada, and Japan also plan on using the non-invasive technology to examine King Tut's tomb and the Valley of the Kings in Luxor. The researchers are also on the lookout for Queen Nefertiti's burial site. High-resolution pictures previously taken of King Tut's tomb indicated there might be hidden chambers there, leading to theories that Queen Nefertiti's tomb might be located there also. But radar scans later conducted by the National Geographic Society indicated that no hidden chambers were located there. Along with the mystery of how the pyramids were built, it seems the location of Nefertiti's burial chamber is yet to be discovered. Number 3. Tattoo you. Seems those ancient Egyptians were ahead of the time in certain ways. If you thought tattoos were something that started in the modern age, well, consider this. Archaeologists discovered a 3,000-year-old Egyptian mummy adorned with ornate tattoos. The preserved body of the woman was found in an ancient village called Deir el Medina, located close to the Valley of the Kings. Although the recovered remains are only comprised of a torso, over 30 distinctive tattoos were detected. Tattoos depicting cows, baboons, lotus blossoms, and wadget eyes were stretched across the arms, hips, and neck. While tattoos have been found on Egyptian mummies, they're usually patterns of dots and dashes. Now, these are the first tattoos found that depict actual creatures and objects. While 3,000-year-old tattoos are impressive, they're not the oldest ever discovered. That honor goes to Utzi, a natural mummy found in the Austrian Alps in 1991. That Iceman had 61 tattoos and is thought to have died around 3250 BC. Number 2. Ancient Pests Modern-day dogs are often plagued with parasites, and apparently this is not a new problem for canines. Turns out that tiny parasites like the louse fly and common brown tick were pestering pooches ages ago in Egypt as well. During expeditions in 2010 and 2011, archaeologists discovered hundreds of mummified dogs at the excavation site of El Dare. Evidence of the parasites was found in the coat and right ear of a mummified puppy, and it's thought that diseases carried by the pests may have led to the pup's death. The presence of blood-sucking parasites was suspected in ancient times, but this is the first time that the facts have been proven archaeologically. Dogs were commonly mummified by ancient Egyptians and were often used as offerings to the god Anubis and Wepewet. Number 1. More than 1,700 mummies have been excavated at an ancient cemetery in Fayum, Egypt, since its discovery 30 years ago. While that is a massive amount of mummies, it may only be the beginning. Some experts speculate there could be over a million human bodies contained in the cemetery. Others feel that's an inflated number. But the desert necropolis does cover more than 300 acres and is thought to be around 1,500 years old. Bodies have been found buried up to 75 feet deep in shafts cut into limestone rock. Scientists are intrigued by the large number of bodies and where they may have come from. The mummified remains seem to have been ordinary citizens buried in mass graves as opposed to royalty or other elite figures. Also baffling is the range of mummies found at the site. Some seem to be clustered by hair color with blonde-haired ones in one section and those with red hair in another. Other excavations revealed apparent families buried together. Even the remains of a man who stood over seven feet tall have been found there. So far, scientists are still piecing together this ancient puzzle. Do you think a million mummies could really be buried there?